Right now at 5 o'clock, a 35-year-old cold case solved thanks to forensic science. The Ozaki County Sheriff says they now know who killed Tracy Hammerberg in 1984. Ben Jordan on how investigators were able to learn the killer's identity. Philip Cross wasn't even considered a suspect in this cold case until just a few months ago. This spring, investigators used DNA evidence from the scene and compared it to public genealogy databases to eventually tie Cross to the crime. After almost 35 years, we had found the person that had brutally raped, strangled, and bludgeoned Tracy Hammerberg to death. Ozaki County Sheriff Jim Johnson says since 1984, more than 400 DNA samples came back without a match, but science ultimately prevailed, nabbing Philip Cross as Stacy Hammerberg's killer. The genealogy databases were used to identify family members of the suspect. Genealogy databases that thousands of people use to trace their family history combined with DNA evidence originally led the Ozaki County Sheriff's Department to Cross's second cousin. From there, investigators created a family tree going back several generations to match that DNA to Philip Cross, who was 21 years old at the time of the murder. She was brutally beaten. In December of 1984, Tracy Hammerberg left to go to a party and she never returned. The 18-year-old's body was found in a driveway in the town of Grafton. Tracy's body was discovered naked from the waist down. An autopsy revealed she was raped and died from severe blows to her head. The Ozaki County Sheriff says Cross's job put him in the area where Hammerberg was that night. Cross's second shift employment at Rexnord would allow him to be in a Port Washington area at the time that Tracy left on foot from her friend's residence. While Johnson is happy the county's oldest cold case is solved, he wishes Cross would have been found alive. We had a mixed, mixed uh, feelings on it. I wanted him to face greater justice. He stole Tracy's life. He was able to live the life that he wanted his way. Johnson says Cross had a lengthy criminal history and several instances of domestic violence. Reporting outside the Ozaki County Sheriff's Office, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4.